Hey guys, Numerical here. I apologize if I sound a little bit sick, because I am a little bit sick. Uh, but this is my flower factory. There's, uh, there's the output. That's what you get. It's, it uses bone meal to produce all these plants and then it breaks, breaks everything. So let me just run it for a second. You can see how, how fast it runs and how much stuff I get. And then I'll, I'll show you how it works. So, there's everything. It's, um, if, I mean, if you know about equivalent exchange, you'll, you'll know that this is amazing. You'll, you can produce so many things from all these items. And also, I mean, even just the fact, if you're just going to use recyclers to get rid of extra items, even the fact that I'm turning one bone mill into multiple items, that's basically more items to go into the recycler. So there's different things you can do with all these plants. And since it costs it's no it's no cost to to run this system. Just you it just changes bone meal into all these uh plants without using any other power source. It's totally worth it. So anyways, let me try to get the lights on. All right. So I don't know if you already knew this, but let me let me grab some bone bone meal from down here to demonstrate when you right click the ground of bone meal it 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 does that it, it flowers pop up and grass um so there is a trick that people came up with uh, a long time ago like a couple years ago where if you if you did that in a dark room where it was too dark for flowers to live or any any grass or anything then right when you right clicked everything would spawn like this but instantly everything would break and then basically you can just stand in a room, in a dark room, and just right click the ground really fast, and then you're just gonna be surrounded with drops because everything dies instantly and drops your items. So, but now there's been, in like Minecraft 1.2, like a while back, there was an update where if the lights are off, then you can't click the ground with bone mill. It doesn't, it doesn't work. So, I came up with this design where let me slow down the timer you can kind of see how it's going but basically the lights come on and a deployer right clicks the bone mill underneath the ground and the bone mill is directly beneath this one in the center so then after that then all the plants show up and then the lights turn off and then uh, everything breaks and these things are called, a, uh, what are they called, transposers, and they can pick up all the items that dropped, and then they basically, these are, this is redstone tubing, this allows you to connect redstone and, uh, and a pipe in one block to the, to the machines, so then all the, all the items just go back to the, the chests, so let me change the timer to like, uh, two seconds, and then turn it on. The timer goes into a toggle latch because it's all kind of like a, the whole system. It toggles lights on and lights off. So you can see lights are on, then flowers are planted, lights turn off, and then after a while they break and they're sucked up. And 300 milliseconds is the fastest that this thing can run. Because at 250, it's like, it's, it actually, I'll just show you, it's, it's really weird, I'm not sure why it doesn't work. But I think the light, the lights are not actually turning off fast enough for everything to die. You can see that things aren't dying actually, so it's not working that way. So, 300 is the way to go. These, these pipes automatically sort out the nearest valid destination for stuff, so... It'll tell, since this one filled up, it'll send stuff in here. And also, you, I don't know if you noticed, but like yellow flowers are coming in, and they were actually going here because they can actually fit on top of the stack. So those pipes are nice. Um, the other part of this, where you might be wondering where I'm getting all this bone meal from. Well, this is going to be blowing your mind if you haven't seen this already. How do I get out? There we go. Uh, no one, none of you guys have seen this running at full speed because it, I've improved it since I've made any videos. 
Um, I think as soon as I put this minium stone in here, because it ran out of minium stones, it's gonna be running. So check this out. This is how I produce. This is how I produce infinite bone meal from nothing except from the only the only cost of the production. I mean, is minium stones. So let me just start it, and then I'll explain it while it's gone. You can see this recipe. You can use a minium stone plus three bone meal to give you a bone, and then it uses some durability on the minium stone. Then with the bone, you can put it in a macerator, and it'll produce five bone meal for each bone. So then you're, you have a net a net gain of two bone meal. So then what happens is the bone meal comes back to this chest to be used again. Basically, every bone you go through, you're getting two bone meal out of it extra at the cost of minium stones. So you can see. Here goes this, and this timer is going to pulse and pulls that stuff out. Now, what happens is when this fills up, let me just put this in there. Uh, it'll start, instead of instead of sending it to this chest, it'll send it to this green, green white, white inner chest. And that is used in my flower factory, To and it, all the bone meal goes there. Then basically there's another little small system that's set up that says, well, if, if this deployer is full, the, the flower factory one, then just send it back to the barrels, the sorting. So, um, yeah, I guess take a look at this. The, you need this for the infinite bone meal. This is just a rotary macerator, uh, wooden pipe, all stone pipe except a sandstone and an iron. This is a filter. A timer is powering the filter. This is pneumatic tube, an ender chest, basic chest, auto crafting table with, with a minium stone, and I just have three redstone engines pumping out. Each of these bones is actually three bones on top of each other. Uh, let me see how fast. Yeah, you might want to add a hopper to this also. Just put a hopper here instead of the iron pipe. That'll that'll work fine. See, it's 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 actually. getting full. So I'll just take this stone out. I do need a hopper, or I need some overclockers or something. But that's how it works. Now I'm not going to build this whole thing on video, but I will show you every piece of it and it shouldn't be hard for you to copy. I'll just tell you the dimensions of the room and all the names of all the blocks. And there's not too, mu not too much to it. First of all, this is a 9x9 square. And this is, uh, you, there's two blocks here, and I, you need a third layer up here for the wire. Um, these are all called transposers. They're not very expensive. All this stuff isn't very expensive, so uh, here it is. You can see it takes a piston, some wood, and uh, cobblestone, and redstone. You're going to need nine of those. Each of these will cover a 3x3 three three area. These are for picking up the items. So since this is a 9x9 nine nine room, you're going to need 9 of these spread out, each of them get covering one 3x3. Three three. So uh, these pipes on top are called redstone tubes. Right here. Uh, not t uh, Well, it takes pneumatic tubes to make these, and pneumatic tubes you need brass. And br for brass you need an alloy furnace, I think. Oh, well, you don't need an alloy furnace, I don't, th well, I get. I think you probably do, unless you get brass dust some other how, some other way. Um, let me eat some apples. So, uh, that's pretty much the whole top half of it, just nine transposers, redstone tube connects it to your, whatever output you need, whatever output you want, it could be an ender chest, could be some barrels, whatever. Bottom level is a little bit more complicated. First of all, notice that these redstone lamps are one block in from the corners, uh, all, each of the four corners. So the redstone basically controls when those turn on and when the bone mill is planted. First of all, just cut, ignore all this stuff. This is the timing. Just look at this is the input. Think of this as the input. When you give this a pulse, it's going to do one cycle. First thing that happens when you would give it a pulse. Right now, see that the lights are, are on. 
Well, see, keep this image in your head. Lights are on, nothing's planted. First thing that happens when you give it a pulse is it will activate the deployer, the deployer full of bone meal, and it will plant the, all the plants like, like what you saw. Two ticks later, because this is one tick and each of these torches are one tick, so two ticks later all these lights will turn off. That's a fifth of a second later, which is 200 milliseconds, and that's why this thing has to be, uh, the timer was running at 300 milliseconds for, uh, for a cycle. Um, but 200 milliseconds later, lights turn off, and the plants die. So then basically it just repeats that over and over again. So basically this is just redstone, uh, any whatever block, deployer on top, redstone repeaters facing opposite directions, so that this one's going that way, this one's going that way, and those will take the power from this block and get it to the lamps. So the redstone isn't very complicated. Uh, this is the most complicated part, the timer, timing. So you can see I have a lever up here. That's just powering this red alloy wire. You don't need to use red alloy wire, you could just use redstone. Uh, but for me it was more convenient to, to have it come vertically down. So that's what I did. This is going straight into the timer. Because when you give the timer redstone signal it turns off. So basically since it's powered right now, since the lever's turned on, it, it actually stops the timer. The, all the timer does is turn this toggle latch on and off, and this toggle latch is what gives a signal to the that whole system. Just goes straight into the the center block. Now the same signal that goes into the center block is a signal that you want to go up. See that it comes up this way, hits this block. This block actually has a redstone torch on top of it, right here, which is powering the redstone tube. And all that's left besides that stuff that I just explained is how to fill it with bone meal. You can either just do it manually, that's not, a, that's not too hard to do. Um, or you can just have an ender chest set up like, like I had with my infinite bone meal machine. So see this receives input from that machine when, when it fills up. And then this is just a filter. A filter. And then a timer, every like 10 seconds it'll pull out a stack of bone meal. And pneumatic tube will automatically sort it out, and it'll it'll find the nearest valid destination and put them all in there. So if this didn't have uh, if this didn't have every slot full, then when I put some bone meal in here, you can see when this thing pulses, it'll just send it all to here. Now that's not it, because this is also called this is a restriction tube. This basically when when the, when these pipes are calculating the nearest destination uh they all count as one block but this restriction tube adds 5000 to the count so basically it's going to see this thing is really far away so it's going to try to put them all into here but if this is full then it will actually send them back to this inner chest which in my case just goes back to my storage room extra the, all the barrels so I hope that all kind of makes sense. You can just kind of copy my design. Redstone isn't complicated. This stuff kind of is more complicated, but you know this isn't necessary. Um, just remember the lever is going to be hooked up to the to the timer to to stop it. And for me, if you're copying this setup exactly, this timer 300 milliseconds is the fastest it can run. But depending on how much lag that actually gives you, which for me it's like nothing. But if you get lag, then you might want to slow it down. Nine transposers, redstone tubes, and however you choose to handle your output. That is it. Hope you guys enjoyed. Hey, let me know if you have any questions. And I will see you guys next time.